Vision 2020, or Wawasan 2020, was a top-down vision, outlined nine challenges that we needed to do to become a developed society. So it's time that we start thinking about Malaysia post-2020. We have to start asking ourselves tough questions about where this country is going to go over the next 50 years. The era of government knows best is over. Now, we need a bottom-up vision. So next year, the government will start a national conversation where you want to see the country. And this national conversation will end up in a canvas of dreams, of goals that have been crowdsourced amongst Malaysians and young Malaysians. Let's start with the economy. We have to start thinking about diversifying our dependence away from just commodities like oil and gas into something else. We have to apply technology also to traditional sectors like agriculture and manufacturing. Precision agriculture like smart farming that reduces water needs by 20% and fuel bills by 40%, we start having to invest in technology now for agriculture. How do we jumpstart our technological advancement so that we become creators and not solely users and replicators of cutting-edge technology? How do we become the laboratory of the world, the lab of the world? Is infrastructure in place to achieve growth going to the future? Now let's talk about human capital. 62% of our workforce are young people. Our workforce is dynamic because in just four years, 300,000 people entered the workforce. Our human capital index dropped to 52 out of 124 in 2015, according to the World Economic Forum. Only 47% of women participate in the workforce, where they make up only 2% of CEOs in listed company. This is a big, big resource that we need to move. The sharing economy presents a new challenge of counting those off traditional payrolls, but who work as, for instance, Uber drivers or Gojet movers. 82% of, of employees expect digital or the digital economy will change their workplace in the next three years. Just imagine, if we can get all our resources into the workforce, it's a wasted resource. They're getting educated, they're getting trained, but ultimately they drop out of the workforce. By 2020, we will reach the promised land of becoming a developed country by growing at 8% every year. Along the way, we forgot that it's not just growth, but also distribution that's important. Growth without equity is meaningless. Growth, but having a big income disparity creates for an uneven society and also an unequal society, which is unjust. I want us to build a civilization and not just an economy. We need to build a civilization by putting emphasis on the arts, by putting emphasis on culture, by putting emphasis on sports, and by putting down markers so that 50 years down the line, 100 years down the line, people can look back and say, these were the markers of a civilization called Malaysia in the 21st century. I believe your generation can make Malaysia greater. If all of you here punch above your weight, Malaysia as a country, will continue to punch way above its weight.